he began his jyotish journey at a tender age of 8 following the strict traditional guru shishya parampara that isn't all he has a more typical professional life and the regular hustle like we all do he is a senior sap consultant and a trainer for many multinationals around the world so this is a very real conversation giving you a practical insight on what jyotish can do for you we spoke about the fundamentals of jyotish the balance between free will and our horoscope and how our nakshatras impact our being he spoke to me about the typical upayas that jyotishis recommend to us and here he has a warning for all of us so do listen in and my favorite part the connection between jyotish and spirituality i'm walking out of this conversation feeling a lot wiser and believing more in my horoscope but not surrendering to it so do listen in and keep meditating welcome on the on pragyan uh, kati ji namaste, uh, namaste. yeah thank you so much for coming it's uh, an absolute pleasure to have you on the show thank you for um, having me i've mm. been really looking forward to this conversation uh, extremely excited about it primarily because this is an area which i don't know much about no so right. i'm going to be uh, this curious person who's going to ask you very fundamental questions uh, also some questions uh, because i meditate so some questions are related okay. to of course uh, spirituality yes. and uh, you know the fine balance that i'm sure you navigate around mm. which is our free will and also what is already written in our destiny yes. and you know how much of it can we control so we'll just go over uh, some of these uh, uh, topics along sure. with you so talking about uh, here be you being based in bangalore you know it being the technology hub uh, i know you wear many hats and uh, of course you are a jyotish and we will talk a lot more about that uh, but you also work with sap and oracle and have a normal well not normal but have an have the regular typical professional work life uh, that most of us also have and yes. you this you know follow this fine balance between this beautiful art that you've inherited and also this typical professional work that you have so yeah. you know where are the convergences where are the divergences how do you balance everything i'd love to know that well, let me start from the beginning uh, <clears throat> my name is kati narahari pandit is something that my guru gave me and um, born in the kati family which is very deeply rooted in the vedic vedic thought right um, well, my grandfather my tau ji my my uh, my um, father's eldest brother okay so they were really into uh, of course they were working in government service they were they were in the ags office accounts in general's office but they were very rooted in the the sanskrita part of it the mantra part of it the stotra the daily nitya puja as part of it and of course jyotisha is something which uh, you know is an is a tributary so right? you basically grew up in that environment in that of... environment so uh, once uh, moment uh, you know i had the <coughs> sacred thread ceremony janu okay the brahma upadesh happened so from that particular time it was kind of expected that everyone in the kati family will start learning the shastra okay it's just not jyotish it is astronomy it is there's a lot of math there mm-hmm. right and, uh, because back then of course now we have uh, softwares and things like that but back then we had to cast a horoscope manually right so if somebody is born in let's say 1968 i must get the calendar of 1968 the month and the planetary positions and starts from there then how to calculate eclipses yeah right so these were something which were very normal because i have 11 cousins oh and everyone was into this boy girls everybody okay but somehow when compared to my other cousins this somehow stuck with me stuck interesting with me and uh, Yes, otherwise, uh, uh, I was born in Bangalore. Uh, <coughs> my dad w- was uh, uh, in military engineering service, so he was deputed to the Indo-China border during the war, nineteen sixty-two war. Then he got transferred to Hyderabad. So I grew up in Hyderabad, twenty years in Hyderabad. Okay, so basically, you're trying to tell me is that it was very typical in your family to have to play these dual roles. It's yeah. not like it's something which is unique to you. Um, but how does it really play into your professional life um, you know if you can tell me a little bit more about that well, are there actually, a lot of yeah i mean it's an excellent question because it doesn't <laughs> okay because i am uh, by qualification i am a bachelor of commerce 
No, my question is like, you know, typically if I, I'm just visualizing myself in your in your situation, I'd be like, deal abhi close karu ya agle din? When, when will I get more of more leverage out of this deal? Or should I switch yeah. my job now or maybe later? Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, see, what happens is there are certain questions, there are certain events, uh, which if it are life-altering kind of things, then yes, I go back to my Shastra, I look at my horoscope, I look at Mahurta, Okay, is it a good day for joining a new, new yeah. kind of job? But then like, you cannot also get to that, push the envelope to that level, that project nahi hai. Abhi ek, ek mahine ke baad start karte hai. Client kya karega? <laughs> yes. Client to baag jayega. Right. Okay, and then SAP is going to beat me up. <laughs> okay. So, no, we have a balance in that. Yes. And of course, many major things. So, how many, how many times do you go back to your own horoscope? Because I'm sure, like every other normal human being right i'm sure there are challenges in your life so how many times do you really go back and look at what is it in store for you and how do you typically react to something bad that you might read about yourself or your life or your family <laughs> see it's very 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 funny and also at certain times it is very stressful because when you are a jyotish from a sampradaya when from a lineage from the age of 7 i have been learning jyotish i am 52 now and I'm still a student of Jyotish. These grahas are always in the mind. Hmm. They don't go away. Okay, it's not that there's a switch somewhere and you turn it off. Yeah. Okay, it's not there. So, you know, sometimes it gets a little difficult, especially in the, you know, family kind of thing, you know, uh, because we are seeing some TV series. Hmm. Okay, and there's a character there. Right. Okay, then I'm thinking, okay, this character is, well, what's the graha there? Yeah. What's that graha energy? You know, you know, this is a typical kind of thing which is there because it's it's ingrained, it's hardwired. Sure. It's, it's really hardwired. So you're constantly going back to yes. what is happening. <laughs> but uh, you know, I, I want for people who are listening to this, right, and also for myself to be to be honest, just sort of break down uh, what Jyotish is, um, what are the fundamentals, uh, you know, what are the the tenets and the foundation on which Jyotish has been built. Hmm. Uh, I think that will help then for us to keep building on the conversation. Right. So, to start away, the foundations of Jyotish is, of course, the process of rebirth. And when we come to the process of rebirth, we have to acknowledge the theory of karma. Okay. To be very, very, you know, common common man language. Okay. Pichle janam mein, maine loan liya. Pachas lakh ka loan liya. Ji. Thik hai. अभी उसका 10 ईएमआई था ठीक है हमने 6 भरे चार तो भर नहीं पाए चल बसे तो ये अकाउंटिंग सिस्टम का वो कैरी फॉरवर्ड जो होता है दैट हैज कम टू दिस लाइफ सो दैट सो व्हाट वी सी इन अ हॉरोस्कोप इज व्हाट हैज कम फ्रॉम योर पास्ट इन अ सेंस इन इन संस्कृत देयर इज अ ब्यूटीफुल वर्ड व्हिच इज कॉल्ड ऋण यू कैन कॉल इट ऋण अनुबंध आल्सो Okay. Okay. Sometimes this anubandha also can become a little, you know, nasty or negative. Okay. But definitely there is certain things you have to pay. That part is there in the horoscope. During this particular journey in this current life, we do a lot of actions. Yes. And if you look at this uh, concept of karma as to what we are doing in this current lifetime, usually people say it's a cause and effect. Yes. It's a very superficial kind of thing. Okay. It's a start, but it's not the end. Okay. But the prarabdha karma, right? So something which I can take away, which is there as a heap in this lifetime, that is shown in the horoscope. Okay. So you also see, of course, the loan and the EMI that I didn't pay. Didn't pay. But you also might see the good charity work that I did. Yes. So you'll see all of it and then you will then tell me what else is possible. More importantly, what I do tell clients okay, is what are those imprints in your mind, in your mana that you are carrying from the past. Which you can also call like samskars? Samskars, yes. But uh, let's look at it this way. Let's say a person Start, starts working, let's say, at 25. Okay. Now, unfortunately, the person who has worked from 25 to 35 years, 10 years, ka kaam kiya. Mm-hmm. Thus company mein kaam kiya. Okay. Now, let us say that in these 10 
companies, he had unfortunately had a very bad job environment experience. Fair enough. Okay. First time hua, wo horoscope mein hai. Next time hoga, 100% ye horoscope mein nahi hai. Hmm. This is where I want to draw a distinction because it is not fatalistic. Hmm. It is not fatalistic. It is just like a person who has had a very terrible negative uh, relationship. How does that person see the next relationship? Obviously, those are certain fears which we have. Right. And those are certain patterns which we have formed. Right. And those patterns play out. So what happens is, being a software guy, it's like we all have a code. Right. And unfortunately, some of the codes are wrong. <laughs> Someone has written a code, right? 2 plus 2 is 4. That's a correct code. But the code in the mind is 2 plus 2 is 5. Hmm. Now, no matter how many times you execute, re-execute this faulty code, the output is still going to be wrong. Very right. So, the first and foremost what we see in a Jyotish horoscope is how to rectify these patterns. Interesting. But how do you draw a connection between what I'm experiencing in my personal life mm -hmm. vis-a-vis what you're reading? So on the horoscope itself, because a lot of that is to do with uh, the, the constellations, the stars, and also what you've seen in, from my past life, a combination of these things. But where I am today, uh, I will only come to you with a problem. Oh, yes. Right? Yes. I will come to you when I'm in a crisis and yes. I'll be like... Uh, Katti ji, bhoat, uh, relationships kar li, but I'm not finding that right person. Right. Uh, ya, aapne bola ki, bhoat nokriyan le li, magar, uh, ab agli jo opportunity hai, wo mirko mil rahi hai, let's say US mein, hmm. to mein loo ya na loo, yes. wo mire le achhi hogi ki nahi hogi. To, what are the leading questions that, that you tend to ask to get to know where I am today? Because of that pattern, you cannot read, right, as of where you are today. You'll only know when I tell you what my story is. Actually, not necessary. <clears throat> oh, interesting. Okay. This is where you know, it becomes very, very interesting. Because a person may come to me saying that I have a bad relationship or I have been laid off. Calm and will right? Okay. Now, the, question, the issue is if it is a pattern, <laughs> Then where is this pattern coming from? Hmm. Okay. Obviously, it is in the horoscope. But uska mool kya hai? Something is there which is the root cause. Yeah. It is because of that root cause, all these things are happening. And there's a repetition of this pattern. A repetition. And that root cause, the, the identification of the root cause, usually I say even before the client actually talks about it. Really? Yeah, so, I'll give an example. <clears throat> when I see a horoscope, I first ask, were there any in the family, whether maternal or paternal, were there any abrupt deaths? I'm not talking of old age and passing away. I'm talking of, you know, ab abrupt accident, drowning, you know, fall from a height, suicide. And when I see these configurations in the horoscope, I ask the, this question very first thing, even before they get into uh, job or relationship or mujhe forage jana hai, MS karna hai, because that is the root. If you do not remedy that root, then whatever you do is superficial. Hmm. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, because you have, because of that seed, riksh khada ho gaya abhi, ab riksh ko trim karo gaya ab. To solve nahi hoega. Solve nahi hoega. So first, these, these are certain things, okay, because there have been so many examples, I'm sure we'll come to that. Okay? Yeah. We'll come to that. There's so many examples where people were, not, everything is there. Right, you right. Know, money, everything is there, but there is no peace at home. I can imagine. That is the root. That we have to, every astrologer, unfortunately, they don't do it nowadays because it requires a lot of traditional knowledge. Okay. And this is not written in any Jyotish textbooks. That you do it this way or that way. Yes, it is the wisdom of the elders. It is right. wisdom of the elders and they teach us. Now the western world has woken up. 
And now there is a Joe Dispenza, Dr. Joe Dispenza. There's a Bruce Lipton there. You know, there are a lot of people who are, you know, doing that hard wiring and things like that. But the Vedic science had it already all, you know, almost 10,000 years ago. See, astrology is a very generic, generic term. And it is basically the word astro comes from Greek. Logi is a study. Okay, astro. But that's more of when people say it is, I'm an astrologer. Mm. Somehow it doesn't connect with me. Okay. What connects with me is this word called Jyotish. Jyotish comes from two words, Jyoti and Isha. Jyoti is a study of light. Okay. And the primary source of light for us is Surya Bhagavan. It is sun. Yes. Or Surya or Aditya. It is the study of sun, which is Jyotish. It is a study of his energy. And the sun's energy, which reflects of other grahas. That is a study of Jyotish. So I tell my students, don't call yourself an astrologer. Call yourself a Jyotishi. There's a difference. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Because when you are using certain terms, certain Sanskrit terms, especially for example, I try to always say, not Saturn, I say it is Shani. Hmm. Not Mars, Mangal. Okay? Because these Sanskrit words have, the, each of the Sanskrit words are divine energies each. Just the name of a particular planet itself is a remedy. So, just help me understand a little bit of these energies for the <coughs> various, uh, uh, you know, uh, planets that we have. You are talking of the entire Navagrahas. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, broadly what are the energies? Right, see, what happens is every Graha, we have nine Grahas. Yes. Okay, seven plus two. Okay. Seven physical Grahas and two shadows. Okay. Okay. These are mathematical points. They are really not planets, these two, which we call it as Rahu and Ketu. These mm. are not physical planets, but they are mathematical points. These mathematical points, what happens is the earth is revolving around its own axis. Yes. At the same time, it is revolving around the sun also. Correct. So, there is an ellipse. They, you can draw a line and each one of them is already, always separated by 180 degrees. Ek Rahu, ek Ketu. There's a mythology. There's, so again, I don't use the word mythology because of the word myth. Okay, I, I, I would like to use the word itihasa. See, the, the problem nowadays is the Sanskrit shlokas have been translated into English. <laughs> okay, now people sometimes read the translation of a translation. Commentary of a commentary. Okay, so Chinese whisper ban gaya. Okay. Huh? Complete loss complete of loss. true knowledge. True knowledge, complete loss. Okay, because you, how can you call sun as malefic? Hmm. See, the word malefic means there is certain agenda yeah. which is negative. But then you also say sun is the cause of dharma. Contradiction. Agreed. Agreed. You know, Surya. Surya gives you, you know, it is health. Yeah. Oh, come on, it's your vitality. You know, some people really procrastination. Very difficult to get out of the bed. Mm. Okay? Low energy levels. Yeah. When you come to Chandra, you know, Chandra is the mana. And this one thing which is Chandra becomes the core focus whenever I read a chart. That's my, the way I have been, I have okay. been taught. Okay. Because when it is your man, in, in, in English it is brain. <laughs> take a grey matter, hai, white matter, hai, but it does not take into the, uh, it does not take into account the emotional response. The emotional bottlenecks. Yeah. Right? So, man. So, that's why Chandra Maya Manaso Jata hai. Okay, Chandrama is man. How, what is your empathy level? What is your emotional response quality? That. And basically that is something which drives us. Yeah. And right? so that is associated with the moon. That's moon. Okay. Mangal, okay, Mars, if we English, Mangal. Energy, go-getting. Ambition. Right? Ambition. Go-getting, ambition. It's just not ambition. You you have the ambition, but you actually go to war <laughs> to get it. You know, that's why Ma Mangal is called the Senapati. Surya is the king. Right. Chandra is the queen. Right. But Senapati hona chahiye. Person who has to protect. Yeah. So that's why this is a royal cabinet. Okay. Ma Mercury is the student. And mm. usually Mercury is also the heir apparent, you know. <laughs> he is the son of uh, uh, the king. Usko responsibility to hai nahi. Kuch bhi karega. To hmm. chanchal hai. Chanchal hai, flexible hai. Aaj ye karega, kal wo karega. 
ओके ही विल इन हिज किंगडम ही विल you know he will see are he is more richer than me i want to be so he'll go to papa say papa is the king no i mujhe ye chahiye usko usko kuch karo spoiled brat basically completely spoiled brat acha theek hai not to get any names but yes <laughs> politically <laughs> there is this, every family has that yeah okay then you see this 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 mercury buddha also buddhi hmm right then that buddhi has to be filled by somebody you know that is the guru jupiter Jupiter is the Brahmaspati. Now, actually, if you look at it, there are two gurus. You know, Jupiter is one one guru, Brahmaspati guru. This guru, when I say guru as Jupiter or Brahmaspati, is teaching you, teaching the students wisdom, spirituality, meditation, the big picture. Okay, that's why Jupiter or Brahmaspati is said to have is said to be the master of all shastras. okay but there is also another guru which is called shukracharya the venus you know yes venus will say yeah you know what uh, what that jupiter is you know brahaspati is saying is okay but you know what please have a bmw also <laughs> so the more materialistic uh, tendencies materialistic tendencies oh you are meditating okay meditate please marry <laughs> Please marry. So the Maya comes from there, is it? I will not even talk about Maya. Huh. This is this is not a this is you know this Maya illusion. At least my tradition does not because I am from the Dwaita, yes. Dwaita community, Dwaita Siddhanta. So you know this. Let's not talk of Maya. We we are talking about if I call my spouse who is come here with me Maya, you are an illusion. I am sure I have to go to the nearest hospital. Okay, for sure. If for sure, certainly not going back home. That's that's <laughs> certain. <laughs> right so but there are because venus or shukra gives you the hard reality that life has to be enjoyed what is wrong with it there's nothing wrong in it i just purchased a xuv 700 luxury come on this is a part of life yeah dono hona chahiye you see you should have gnana you should have the spiritual wisdom and you must also because we are in a grahastha model you know in in the in the entire dharma artha kama moksha all the four they are householders yes and in householders of course you have to earn money so you cannot say i will just meditate gone are those days where the king used to you know take care of the jyotish family right of I course just swipe in swipe out karna padta hai sap ka ha karna padta hai nahi to you have to pay the bills hai. yes absolutely so that is venus then you come to the great shani one of the most misunderstood is considered as bad energy matlab any wo like shani kal hai to people get shaken up so ah, and they when they keep doing that shani will really enter their life hmm okay in in a negative sense shani is all about hard work oh discipline you know no cutting corners you see you, you see people cutting corners chalta hai chalta hai jugad you know the indians are very famous in jugad by the yeah, way yeah, you yeah. know that right of course no jugad shani is absolutely you know very traditional by the way very traditional no cutting corners then we come to the shadow planets hmm. you know rahu rahu will question everything okay if my you know if there is a tradition that is happening from the last 100 years rahu will say this tradition is outdated i will not believe it so why should i believe it now you see many people don't follow their family traditions yeah okay some some people also can get converted that is all rahu rejection of the old sampradayas and go and looking for new that is rahu but in certain things rahu can be fantastic because that out of box thinking no that pushing the envelope pushing the envelope looking at what happens if i if i demolish this construct uske niche kya hai that is why rahu is something who digs deeper unravels the mysteries you know and we don't like going deeper you know there's lo- because there are a lot of lot of karmic insects there right you do really don't like to visit those traumas and things like that so that is rahu ketu another another opposite you see the best way to understand this rahu ketu is in the itihasa there was a rakshasa there was a demon okay swarabhanu and poor uh, the, uh, the devatas and uh, the rakshasas churned churned the ocean and out came 
Amrita. The Manthan. The, the yeah. Manthan. The Sagar Manthan yes. all came that. And uh, the nectar was there. The Amrita was there. So it was decided that only, uh, you know, the Devatas will get it. Okay. Of course, they also put in a lot of effort. <laughs> Asuras did not like it. So one fellow, uh, one Asura, he disguised himself as a Devata and sat in a line. So, uh, you know, but he drank. But, you know, the guardians of the uh, universe, which is Surya and Chandra, the sun and the moon, they called him out. They said, oh, no, 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 this fellow is not a Devata, he is a Rakshasa. But the Amrita has already entered. So, he is immortal. But it was Vishnu who cut his head off. So, the head part is Rahu. And the, the torso from neck down is Ketu. Now, look at it this way. Because teaching Jyotish should not be difficult. If you look at it from a story perspective, which I do for my students. Sirf sar hai. Only head. Which means Buddhiman. Huh? Parashara Maharishi calls, they, he uses the word dhimanta. Dhimanta means extremely intelligent. <clears throat> and he, he <clears throat> gives this title dhimanta to Surya, to Jupiter, Guru and Rahu. Ekdom, you know, extremely head, only head. But in the process of that great head, the great intellectual, he doesn't have a heart. Hmm. Yeah. So these people can be very, very focused, so focused that they really don't want, you know, they, they probably will, you know, flow through people. Everything. Everything. And just keep pushing all the time. Keep pushing. With no empathy, with no, no, empathy, with no, no, no emotion. Empathy, no emotion. Uh, no emotion. I will get it. Basically, Rahu uh, ends justify the means. Right? But then it has, Rahu also has a very important quality because the ability of research. You see, otherwise, you know, if you look at these great scientists which we, you know, have the the Einsteins and, you know, these these people, you know, the theory is so much, I don't know how much I am not a science graduate, I am a you know, finance guy. Yeah. Okay. But then there is a lot of Rahu involved. Okay. Challenging the existing construct, that is Rahu. But Ketu, completely opposite. Sir, there is no head for Ketu. Which means he has only heart. Oh. So you see, there is a problem here, which means a person who is dominated by Ketu, Things from the heart. Now, this sometimes can become a problem because the the person can also get brainwashed. Very easily. Very easily brainwashed. Or be gullible. Exactly. Look around us, what is happening, the the uh, the terrorists who blow themselves up. Why? Because they, they come from because they, there's an indoctrination that has happened. Uh, there, there is this you know brainwashing that has happened. That is that is the uh, Ketu. But Ketu, extreme spirituality. Extreme spirituality to that extent that Ketu will destroy money. You need to understand that. Not, not many people know this. Oh. Ketu paise ko nash kar uh, Tell right. me more like an example. See, you see, what happens is Mercury, Mercury is this planet who is for all money. Hmm. When I'm talking of money, I'm talking of hard cash, your bank balance, your property, you know, all that savings, all that. Now, this is the accumulation part, which hmm. is Mercury, hmm. Buddha. The destructive part is Ketu. Achha. For a reason that Ketu will look at life, Jeevana, only from a spiritual angle. So, why spirituality mein paise kyun chahiye? Because Ketu is symbolized by those people who are sannyasi. Achha. And what does the Shastra tell? The Shastra says, a sannyasi can come to your home. But he has the right to stay at your home only for one day. After that, he has to leave because that attachment must be there. So, Ketu will start breaking every attachment you have, including your spouse, into children, which means you will be that, that person who will just wander. You know, aaj Hyderabad mein dikhe, kal Haridwar mein dikhe. Hmm. So, Sanyasi ko paise se kya matra? <laughs> you see, this is very, yeah. very interesting. Okay, Ketu can demolish. Everything what you have built. So, do some of the spiritual, uh, you know, leaders who we have sort of observed through, you know, hundreds or thousands of years who we've read about, 
you know, like a Swami Vivekananda or, yes. or Adi Shankara. Adi you... Shankara, the Madhava, Madhava Acharya, Srimad Acharya. We are talking of uh, Ramakrishna Paramahamsa. Come on, they have no money. Yeah. Where was their money? So you feel like a lot of them had a very strong influence of Ketu? Yes. Ketu, Guru, Brihaspati. Hmm. Okay. For example, if you look at uh, the charts of uh, some of the uh, pontiffs of Mathas. Okay. No offense, but I'm not talking about the 500 acre ashrams. No, 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 no. 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 I'm not talking of that. I'm talking of, let us say you go to Shingeri. Okay. Now, if you actually go to my, you know, some of the Mathas, for example, there is a Matha called Uttaradi Matha. Hmm. Okay. This, this comes from the Udipi tradition. Okay. okay. It's Where a is it? Matha, uh, because the Udipi tradition, Srimad Acharya has uh, set up eight principal Mathas. Uh, Srimad Acharya means Madhva Acharya. Got right. Adi Shankar Acharya set up the four uh, you know, centers. Yes. Right. Now, if you look at the lifestyle of the Swamiji, okay, who is the pontiff, hmm. in one 24 hours, he eats five morsels. Food. Five. five morsels. Five. Nothing more. Water, that's all. The ne next day, he will, the he will travel from West Bengal to Bombay. Panch, kya karoge? Where is that Shakti coming from? This Shakti is not coming from money. Hmm. It is coming from that sadhana. Very, very interesting lifestyles. And tell me, how do these uh, planetary energies, now if you can make that connection on what is the impact it has on us as individuals. Some of it you've spoken about, but if there is any direct impact you can talk about, even through examples, it will be very helpful. See, the impact, what happens is the, first of all, Jyotish is not fatalistic. Hmm. Okay, because you bought in the concept of free will as well. Yes. And many people get, you know, obviously free will has to come in when yeah. you talk about Jyotish. Okay. Now people will say, if if something has to happen, then why should you go to uh, an astrologer? Fair enough. But the point is, Jyotish can give you a roadmap. For example, we are in Bangalore. If I have to go to Mysore, I can take the expressway. The excellent expressway, I can reach it and re reach Mysore in about I reach it in 1 hour 15 minutes. Okay. Or I can go in the long winding roads through the villages. Jyotish will say, <coughs> Jyotish will say there are three roads. Please take road number two. Hmm. But you are free to take those roads according to your choice. Very interesting. Nobody is stopping you. Nobody is stopping you. That is where the karmic cause and effect starts. You will go, if you if I have taken the expressway, then I will reach it in one and a half, reach Mysore in one and a half hour. I will go through, you know, the uh, Kacha Rasta and all. Uh, flat tire, change karo, you will still reach. But the experience, the Anubhava will not be that uh, great. So we try, in Jyotish, we try to say that this is the roadmap. And to strengthen the process, then there is the mantras, the remedies. And things like that. Yes. Which help. Which of help. course. Of course. I know very interesting what you said because you're basically saying that reading somebody's horoscope or if somebody chooses to live their life as a, as horos as their horoscope being a sort of a foundation, uh, then what will help them is that you will get the efficient and the shortest and the best roadmap best for, roadmap you, for you, you based on your past yes. and what is really scripted for you in your current life. Current life. And let us not forget that patterns yes. I talked about earlier. The yes. hard wiring, the bad code. We all have bad codes. Yeah, of yeah, course. Tremendous. I mean, that's why, like for me, a lot of my meditation is around that, right? You exactly. have vrittis, you have vikshepas, yes. you have all the tendencies that we yes, grow up. I mean, we are, we are already entrenched with when we are born in this world. And the only way you can design your destiny, my guru says, is for you to remove a lot of that yes. and then meditate so that you can now build a new destiny for yourself Meditate. and not just do it based on whatever you are born with. Otherwise, you are never going to be free. No, no. How are you going to go back to your source? How yeah. are you going to find your purpose? How are you going to be a yes. self-realized soul? You are stuck soul? in that wheel which we call samsara. Right? Yeah. So, you start somewhere, you go, go around, round and you are back again. <laughs> you see, like day follows night and night follows day, you are back again. So, in this... What happens? This is this is very very fascinating because from a karmic perspective, you can look at it from a different uh, karma theory. Can be looked at from a cause and effect. Uh, all right, I bang my 
uh, toe on uh, on the uh, table. Uh, table. Of course, I go ouch. But from that perspective, yes. But then, <laughs> this is very interesting. You know, when people say karma, ninety nine point nine nine percent of the time they are actually asking when will it all pay off. Hmm. When will I get that low hanging fruit? When will this manifest so that I can be happy, whether it's a BMW or whether it's a spiritual enlightenment, all that. But you see, the moment you do that, you are caught in the again samsara cycle of samsara. Right? So yeah. this is this is something, you know, then there are aspects. I have played with this world of karma in so many ways that I bring in grief, I bring in uh, you know death. Right, and it uh, and this theory of karma explodes in so many so many uh, dimensions. Jyotish, when we are talking of jyotish, we are obviously talking of phala. Phala is the fruit, ji, or what is going to happen. Phalita. Of course, there is this particular uh, jyotish which I am talking about, which is a parashara kind of thing, where you take a horoscope. Okay, there are sixteen different charts, each for uh, a dimension of life. Marriage ka ek, profession ka ek, business ka ek, uh, spirituality ka ek. For that, I will need a date of birth, DDM and YY, place of birth and time of birth. Right. That is one way of doing it. Second is, <clears throat> a person may come with a horoscope known. Many people don't know their horoscopes, by the way. Yeah, you're right. Many they don't. don't. Okay. But what happens is, even if a person knows his DDM and YY and all that, Especially when people come home, I note down what is the time he comes. Interesting. I will note down what is the body parts he's touching while he's talking to me. So okay. We will do this, this, you know, this. All this actually goes, and I construct a chart based on the time he entered. And this is what you know, this is called Prashna Shastra. Okay. But there is one condition for this. That for you to be a whether it is any any form of jyotish, the astrologer's personal sad, sadhana must be there. Otherwise, nahi. Very true. Nadi. Okay. So what happens is, and these are horoscopes that have been written by the rishis. Yes. And the hope is my horoscope, mera horoscope, mil jayega wahan pe. Okay. So traditionally in Hyderabad, I approached the uh, the Kashapa Horana, Kashapa Nadi, okay, Agastya Nadi, sorry, not Kashapa, Agastya Nadi. So they took some time and they took my thumb impression. Yes. Yes. And they said, wait. Uh, they went and looked and pulled out, pulled out a thing, and then they started reading my entire name, my father's name, my mother's name, you know, my my wife's name. I was not married to them, by the way. Are you serious? Yes. They they and took your wife's uh, name. Wife's name, and they said your wife uh, wife's house. Uh, they will be in this particular direction. They will be they will be a particular Shiva temple or whatever. You know the, the deity temple. Very very. But then the whole issue is you must go to the authentic people. Mm. As as is there in any you know you want you don't want to go to a health quack, right? But unfortunate. But that is an amazing. Then if you go down south, Kerala, okay. Uh, my initiation, uh, again, this is again fate, we can call it fate or whatever. So I said I want to go to this temple called Chota Nikra. Okay, Chota Nikra is the Bhagavati temple. And okay. there, there, there are certain practices that happen there. People who are, in, who are interested, we, we can talk about the tantric practices, the, uh, I, uh, the English word is exorcism. Hmm. Okay, we, I don't want to use that, but I will use it Abhichara, people who have been tormented by certain things they remove the they remove that all that and uh, i have been uh, taught uh, something called as ashtamangala prashna of course i don't do deva prashna because i am not qualified the deva prashna is for example what happens is a temple over a period of time hmm. the prana shakti decreases yes that's the prana pratishtha what has happened decreases over a period of time maybe there are certain uh, tamasic practices that have happened now, and therefore, you need a guru to go back or somebody who is enlightened to go back and reinstate that energy. Yes. And before that, he has to, the, the sadhak, sadhak has to understand the mood 
ऑफ द डेटी वो टेम्पल का डेटी क्या चाहता है दैट इज कॉल्ड देव प्रश्न देन द डेटी विल से दिस हैज हैपन्ड दैट हैज हैपन्ड उसका उपचार दैट रेमेडी ऑल दैट इज फैंटास्टिक देयर इज अ पर्सन आई हैव लर्नड ओके आई एम स्टिल लर्निंग बट इज यू वॉक इन ओके यू जस्ट वॉक इन ही विल लुक एट यू ही विल स्टार्ट स्क्रिबलिंग समथिंग ओके बाय द टाइम यू सेट ही विल शो यू सर्टेन क्वेश्चंस व्हिच यू हैव व्हिच यू वांटेड टू आस्क but what i understood is diamond there is no special speciality in spirituality at all being spirituality is so ordinary the first thing i was that hit me very hard is i started asking myself as to why people wear spirituality in their ace in sleep why because you have because once you have gone through the process of spirituality why are you not the same because this happens profound grief hmm so i went through a lot of profound grief okay at the starting there was other obviously grief is a ongoing process but then when you come out of it then you realize your own infinite capability capacity of love and compassion if that is not there then you are not that is one thing when i came out of uh, no and and every guru has taught me this every guru has taught me every grief every profound grief has taught me and the experience has been for the lack of better word mind blowing yeah yes it is it's absolutely uh, transformative and it has focused me into my own sadhana because my daily sadhana is my sadhana so how did it when you came out of it i understand you had a lot of gratitude you understood uh, you know because your grief sort of made you maybe uh change and take this path but in the real world or in the real terms i would say you know did something really shift in you which you observed when you came out from there you know what happens is some you get a feeling that kya hone wala hai clairvoyance or whatever you call no that is something which is absolutely essential and it it does not work 24 hours okay there is a particular sadhana of a deity i do okay that was introduced to me in kerala you must do the sadhana of a deity every day hmm now sometimes the deity talks to you sometimes it doesn't okay it's like you know there is no logical kind of thing but then the connect with that particular divinity that transformation has been absolutely wonderful and that has also translated into your reading of the horoscope reading and being more horoscope. accurate and being reading the horoscope sometimes not even that even in sap you know we are talking in as you know uh, colleagues you know i uh, say then a person actually says yaar this is something which i have in mind and immediately something you know comes to my mind and if he is close enough to me then i take him aside and say dekh bhai please you know rework on it and something like that okay that intuition i you call it intuition Okay, that that has sharpened. That is that is that. Is, that is so you know, as I was also mentioning earlier, that most times people go to take advice from a jyotish is mm-hmm. when there's been some sort of a crisis in their life, yes. or when they're starting something new. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, like a typical I'm housewarming, or you know, various other events uh, where you'd like to know what the mahurat is. But most people, including myself, uh. have always gone to a jyotish when it comes to relationships the question is specific and that is relationship yes yes and usually many many astrologers jump into there are 12 houses okay the seventh house is supposed to be marriage okay okay all right so most of the people will go to the seventh house wahan pe kaun sa grah baitha hai oh rahu oh okay that is why you had a breakup okay shani oh the late marriage all this take a step back take a step back if i see and remember i talked about the root cause yes if i see that there is a root cause the, probably the first question i will ask you is in your family how are your siblings for example if they are married how is their how is their relationship going on now when the root cause is there 99% of the times person will say my brother divorced hmm 
my sister married no children lot of fights in the family so once you catch that root i am no longer focused on your breakups because if i go and look at the remedy of the seventh house and all that's not going to work so you're basically looking at the bigger picture i will look at the bigger picture then i will try to find out in your family bhai kya tha isme you know nothing starts coincidence there is no no accidents here okay either something has happened because of you okay which is what you know, or there is a pattern it's either because of you as you said or like what i'm hearing you say is also the fact that my destiny is very intertwined with my family yes. and my surroundings yes so it's not just about me which means it is the karmic rena so it it's also karmic... generational to many if, to yes. to a large extent you see some people you know don't have children no matter what no, ivf hai ye hai all that they try me there is then something will tell in the horoscope that it this can be a pitri issue majority of the issue goes back to the pitri you know people have got disconnected no wonder all these issues are happening so are ancestors. you saying there's also a connection to our ancestors yes that, now what happens is all right now that the root cause sometimes the root cause is not there sure okay maybe it is just a transit kind of thing a transition kind of thing temporary kind of thing two breakups ho gaya now i say what is your attitude hmm because your attitude has changed you see yeah yes because after two breakups of course attitude yes, has changed attitude will change now that attitude change i will connect it to the dasha or sub period okay now that will give me an idea as to how drastically your attitude has shifted sometimes two breakups person is still positive yeah yeah possible yeah, possible very very possible some people oh maybe it will happen again <laughs> what is your attitude okay so there is a course correction there i have to advise you you see jyotish is not about just the date when you will get married hmm. it is a it is a counseling session like you would have with a counseling session with your spiritual guru or with a medical medical or a therapist therapist this is exactly that not many people see that that way right yeah. then i will say okay now the the there is a relationship which is going to come then i will say in your horoscope love marriage is not recommended i will tell you that hmm but some people will say no 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 i want love marriage kudo kon bola to is again around the best truth i have i have a client i have been telling her that you know what arranged marriage is best for you now see what what happens is she says my my parents got arranged uh, you know married by arranged marriage and they were never happy you see what is happening the attitude it's coming from somewhere it's going in a completely different way. yes okay it's colored it's colored yeah it's colored ye bhi jyotish mein this is one thing which you have to see and advice see ultimately it is why would you come aapko lottery mila mere paas nahi aaoge nahi You मैं तो बहुत खुशी हूँ खुश हूँ जाके शॉपिंग करूंगी शॉपिंग करोगे राइट बट इफ यू आर कमिंग विद सर्टन प्रॉब्लम एंड क्वेश्चन आई शुड फर्स्ट नॉट स्केयर मंगर यू आई शुड फर्स्ट नॉट फियर मंगर नहीं 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 आई है फोर्थ मंगल इन द फोर्थ हजबेंड विल डाई वॉट दैट एक्सट्रीम नो आइडिया अरे मंगल कुछ दोष है मांगलिक हो आप If you are a mangalik, then your husband will die. Okay, so what to do? Poor girl is not married yet. Yeah. Ah, ye ye remedy karo, ye karo, wo karo. Sixteen lakhs. Trust me, sixteen lakhs. Sixteen lakhs is not a small amount. Yeah. You understand? Fear, don't fear. No fear mongering. But can we? Can I guide you? If I say okay, there is love marriage is not really. Then we. ये प्रपोजल आएगा आई कैन ऑल्सो से टू सम एक्सटेंट सम एक्यूरेट एक्सटेंट दट कौन सा डिरेक्शन से भी आएगा टू सम एक्सटेंट आई कैन फेयर एक्सटेंट आई कैन आई कैन से दैट आई कैन ऑल्सो से वॉट विल बी द नेचर ऑफ दिस पाउस इन द सेम वे आई वुड हैव ऑल्सो टोल्ड यू वॉट वॉज द नेचर ऑफ द टू ब्रेकअप कितना ट्रॉमा हुआ कितना ट्रस्ट इश्यूज था ऑल दैट so now tell me the upays are to help me build more efficiencies in that road map that we were talking about 
or our upay is for me to get what I want. In this context, like you said, arrange marriage कर लो. But I say नहीं. मेरे को love marriage ही करना है. तो is the upay that you will give me, or typically people give. is to give me that love marriage because that's what i want and that's what makes me happy and after all i am the paying customer <laughs> or are you going to still stick to saying no you should do the arranged marriage because that's what i think is best for you but for you to optimize it and make it better for yourself i would recommend you do these three things well both ways works okay, okay. but because as you said no some people are very adamant saying that arranged marriage nahi chahiye okay then i will warn hmm I will definitely warn, saying that in your horoscope, arranged marriage is better. So why ये मत करो? Okay, अभी करना ही है, पूजना ही है, तो चलो थोड़ा I will give a certain remedy, but there is no I will tell that there is no guarantee that this is going to work. Hmm. In the other side also there is no guarantee, but the but the likelihood, the likelihood of a person being happy, you know, prosperous. Is higher. Yeah, because we we use a word called dhana. Yes. Dhana is not money. Everyone says dhana is money. If I say dhana is money, then what is nidhana? Think about it. Nidhan kya hota hai? Nidhan to death hota hai. So if nidhan is death, dhana is life itself. Lakshmi ji ka, Shri Lakshmi. That is why she is called Shri. Hmm. How can I empower you? See, I am going to use this word. I use it uh, this in my courses for a long, uh, very, very frequently. How can I empower you? Because After consulting me, problems will not go away. Problems will come, but can I empower you so that the next problem you can, you can handle it much better than what you did in the past two relationships that did not work out. Fantastic! That's incredible. Surely, but that's not how remedies are looked upon these days, right? Remedies are typically <laughs> looked upon as at least the ones I know about is. आप ये मंत्र कर लीजिए सुबह आप ये अंगूठी पहन लीजिए आप आई मीन चैरिटी आई डोंट माइंड बिकॉज आई थिंक दैट्स ग्रेट इफ नथिंग एल्स इवन इफ द उपाय डजेंट वर्क चलो आई डिड समथिंग गुड विद अ गुड विद अ गुड हार्ट यू सी दिस दिस इज वेयर द होल इंडस्ट्री ज्योतिष इज एन इंडस्ट्री द एंटायर एस्ट्रोलॉजी इज एन इंडस्ट्री नाउ लेट मी ब्रिंग दिस टू थिंग्स ऑन द टेबल वन इज रेमिडीज बेस्ड ऑन मंत्रास and remedy is based on gemstones sure two things and if you can tell me of course what the science is behind both these mm. and then we can get into the business of it fair enough <clears throat> when you talk about mantra mana trahi mantra is mana trahi mana is your emotional response your dil your heart trahi is protection So in the beginning, I said moon plays a extremely crucial role because it is your mana. Mm. So mantras can protect you, be it from a, a bad energy, because the nature has both positive and negative. Yeah, I'm a Star Wars and guy, you know, <laughs> Darth <force>, Vader, <laughs> Darth Vader, you know. I'm 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 like Luke Skywalker, Skywalker, and I'm binging all the time, you know. So there is, you know, there's a disturbance in the force. Okay, there's a dark, there's a dark side of it. For example, when you are traveling somewhere, there is a dark energy it can latch on, okay, to protect mantra. That is a science. Mantra is a science, and mantra is is the vibrational frequency of sound. Hmm. Every mantra has a meter. We call it chandas. Anushtup chandas ho gaya, Gayatri chandas, Ushnek ho gaya. These are chandas, and it has to be chanted in a particular frequency. ऐसा नहीं कि बैठ गो गम गम गण बता नम ना दिन गणा अपन सो देयर हैज टू बी अ क्वालिफाइड पर्सन हु इज अ क्वालिफाइड ज्योतिषी फ्रॉम द ट्रेडिशन हु विल टीच यू हाउ टू चांट द मंत्र बिकॉज़ दैट इज द एनर्जी यू हैव टू डेवलप दैट इज द मंत्र एंड दैट एनर्जी कम्स फ्रॉम द फ्रीक्वेंसी फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ द मंत्र देन कम्स द जेमस्टोन पार्ट ऑफ इट हम्म ओके एंड आई एम वेरी क्रिटिकल अबाउट द जेमस्टोन इंडस्ट्री नाउ वेरी वेरी क्रिटिकल जेमस्टोन्स वर्क देयर इज एब्सोल्युटली नो क्वेश्चन अबाउट इट gemstones work but the shastra as to which gemstone has to be prescribed based on your horoscope again hmm. that knowledge is there in garuda puran okay so not in jyotish it's there in a puran okay now garuda puran puts anabel and conjuring to shame 
Really? Gurd Puran is Scary. all about, well, you have to read it. But that is why people get so afraid. That is why they have started this nonsense, and which I will call it myth this time. Saying that, no, 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 Gurd Puran should be read only when a person passes away. अरे बंदा मर गया वो कहा सुनेगा गर्ड प्राण करे वही कहा सुनेगा मर गया आत्मा गई सो यू टू रीड गर्ड प्राण बिकॉज अलाइव एंड दैट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ कटी परंपरा कटी फैमिली द फर्स्ट पुराना वी गेट फ्रॉम द एल्डर्स इज गर्ड पुराण बट द पॉइंट इज जेम स्टोन नॉलेज इज इन गर्ड पुराण देर इज अ वेरी डिटेल्ड चैप्टर ऑन इट ओके रत्ना ऊपर रत्न ओके नाउ पीपल हैव नॉट रेड इट on what basis are they suggesting gems oh this planet is nice in your horoscope to kya karo emerald pen lo usko strengthen karne ke liye ha strengthen karne ke liye emerald pen lo emerald matlab uh, panna green yes did you know that for people who are in the range of age after puberty till menopause hmm which means the sexual activity panna is not given What? Yes, no one knows this. We will never give an emerald to a couple. First, they will be they will start having disturbances in the married life. Oh, that point is very clear. Why? Because in the house of Mercury, Venus falls. Shukra. Now Venus is important for relationship. Come on, compassion, trust. Okay, pehla rati aata hai. This is see. This is what I am saying. You have to read the Puranas hmm. because in Agni Purana, Agni Agni Deva supposed to have two symbolic wives. Okay, one is Rati, the other is Priti. Okay, now when you get married, this is Rati, and what does Rati mean? Sexy from a uh, boy's perspective, or you know, attractive. handsome, attractive. That physical uh, intima- intimation, the sexuality, that is the beginning of a relationship. That Correct. is Priti. Over a period of time, that has to get converted. Rati has to get converted into Priti. Priti is what trust, hmm. compassion, you know, companionship. Companionship because sexual drive is not going to be there yeah. forever. Okay, now both of these will die if you give an emerald. So much. No, see? it's true. This is not common knowledge. People don't know this. I, I have friends you. who are in their forties who are wearing emeralds. Should not be very careful. human race has exploited all natural resources a gemstone has to be created within the earth crust hmm. it takes thousands and thousands and thousands of years to get her for a gemstone to form abhi sare jo gemstones hain ye lab mein milta hai he treated synthetic go to netflix hmm. There is a documentary on diamonds, which are not diamonds, by the way. Yes. I don't know if you have seen it. Yes, I, I have. I am very interested because when there is, how do you, how do you know whether this is a true, true diamond or not? Like because Garuda Purana says, e, if it is not authentic, and even if it is authentic, even a small, a tiny impurity, the family is destroyed. Khelo mat isse. Very dangerous. Nowadays, people have. created certain marketing things so this is all very great i also want to understand that uh, when you said that the gemstones get developed in the crust of the earth mm. what is it that they gain that they get this power that it can act as a remedy if used properly shockingly they don't get any power oh the power has to be done by a process of prana pratishtha right so the rock itself really has nothing just stone it is just a stone like the pebble outside on the road i don't know you may have paid millions of dollars for it but you are right it is it is a stone yeah but point is you see this is where very important thing and and, and people should understand this very because the, nobody talks about it for obvious reasons of commercial commercial kind of thing and now let us say you got a great uh, authentic gemstone all that fine now prana pratishtha prana means life force mm-hmm. now that gemstone <clears throat> will have a life force of a deity now can you imagine the deities part of the deities prana 
life force must be installed in the gemstone. Now, a person who is able to do that, don't you think he has to be a sadhak? For sure. Now, what is happening in the industry now? You got Pokraj? Okay. Wear it on a Friday. No, sorry, Thursday. Okay. But before that, put do some puja. You know? But that's just humbug. It's not like nobody Please, does some real... Please, understanding here. Ah. Okay. If it is an authentic gemstone, then the price of that itself will minimum start at 15 lakhs. Indian rupees. Which is used to be my point. That if I have 15 lakhs, then why will I come to you? No. Correct. <laughs> if you have 15 lakhs, why will you come to me? Now, come to mantras. Okay. Now the question is, why are mantras not being prescribed in the same frequency as a gemstone? Because mantra does not cost anything. Yeah. If it costs, it costs your time. And also, it's actually elevating me. Forget it's cost. You. It's it elevating my being. It yeah. is your sadhana. It is your investment in the sadhana. Now, take any. Okay, how do how do anyone re, uh, start astrology? The Jyotish. Hmm. Okay. Who don't belong to a tradition, they will go to a market, Amazon.com or Flipkart. They buy Brihad Parashara Hara Shastra Part 1, Part 2, translations. There are so many Jyotish books and wonderful Jyotish books written by the Rishis. Kalidasa has written. The poet oh. Kalidasa has written Uttara Kalamitra. But there was a king called Kalyala Marma who wrote Saravali. Excellent books. But guess what? In all these books, the remedial measures of mantras are not a part of these books. Now you see where the astrologers are getting stuck now. Yeah, because they are not being taught. There it's... is not. No, no, no. Forget about taught. The mantras, which mantra, what mantra yeah. has to be suggested, how many aksharas the mantra has to happen based on your horoscope is missing in the Jyotish text. Yes. So, where will it be? It will be in the Puran. And who will be reading it? It will be Puran. And usually, this Purana is taught from an elder in the family. In my in my family, my grandfather, you know, had that grandfather chair, you know. Hmm. Okay, grandfather chair, and obviously he was retired. So he used to sit on the on the terrace. When he sits, we sit on the floor. Hmm. We uh, can't even think of sitting beside him like chair. Hey, hi, dude. Now, dude, chalta hai. Okay. Then in the night sky, you know, he used to gaze at the night sky, and then he used to ta teach a lot of to you know the itihasa and things like that. And that is the energy of Jyotish that comes to you. Because how many combinations can you mug up? Yeah. I mean, the brain is limited. Brain is limited. Especially in Kali Yuga, it's not. Correct. But if you learn by storytelling, then there are books of Mantra Shastra, Sharada Tilakam. Sharada Tilakam. Okay. A wonderful textbook. Many people say, how many Ram, Rama mantras uh, are there? Hmm. I say there is a there, there is a there is a shastra which is called Rama Rahasya. At least about five thousand mantras you can find there. Only wow. of Rama. Five thousand. I'm, I'm I'm just you know putting on a yeah, uh, yeah, yeah sure on a number. Okay. You see, the current astrologers have not read the Puranas. That is why you see mantras nahi aata. No mantras near the gemstone. So how do I my next question then is how do I weed out the bad or the not so good with the good? Like if I want a Jyotish, of course I'll come to you. But <laughs> beside you, uh, you know, how does somebody then very quickly judge is this the right Jyotish for me or not? Because a lot of us are depending on a lot of this. You know, I know my I mean not my parents, but I have an uncle and aunt, I have other friends who go to Jyotish, Jyotishis on a very regular basis. How do you select a doctor? By word of mouth, falling or down a little bit, also reading reviews online. Word of mouth? Word of mouth, yeah. See, earlier, <coughs> earlier there was a family physician. Yeah. Right? There was a family astrologer. Yes. Yes. The minute the child was born, the horoscope was made. Yes. I am trying to revive the family astrologer concept now. Oh, amazing. And I'm very proud that I'm a family astrologer to many families across across the globe. Yeah. Any any good thing happens, anything, they'll call. Must be very rewarding also, right? Because I'm sure 
when your predictions come true and people call you and oh, be yeah, like it is, a, it, it is absolutely a great you know you, you feel that okay you have contributed to the happiness of you know some you know something prosperity the prosperity of people absolutely so and that's peace why, of mind peace of mind so that is why remedies please do not get into see the whole point is if you go to a doctor he prescribes you an antibiotic usually we say side effect kya hota hai <laughs> isme kyun nahi puchte you see jyotish ko kyun nahi puchte why don't you ask the jyotish that why are you doing this yes which means to a certain extent the clients have to be educated yeah the clients have to be educated so we should be more discerning i understand yes you have to ask questions now now how do you find a good weeding out uh, yeah. right so the jyotishi if he if he or she is an authentic jyotishi from the parampara he will he will take your question hmm. and i'll answer it hmm some astrologer what do you know hmm i have done 50 years of sadhana why are you asking you just do this that is wrong then there is there's avoidance means there's lack of knowledge please run away mm. better road go yeah you said something very interesting about how there used to be a jyotish in every raj yes. gharana right and oh, yes. uh, i've always heard these these stories growing up it's there in our panchatantra and all of our uh, yes. our uh, comics as well as growing up now what i see is that the same parallel you can draw with politicians right yes. and a number of politicians <laughs> have their own jyotish they last them ki abhi campaign abhi shuru karu mere selections ka kya hoga yes. main unko lu nahi lu yes. so i'm sure you've advised uh, a few politicians in your in your life well usually when the election happens i go underground <laughs> sure i can imagine hmm? because in one constituency three parties uh, people will come and say who batao to i am i am in a you know i have a <laughs> bulls eye on my back <laughs> You can't tell all three. Up, sub, jeetenge. I can't. Usually, bhag jao. <laughs> right. But there are certain politicians uh, who are very, 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 very minority. Mm -hmm. They are in a minority where they actually are based from a shastra. They come from a family of uh, of traditions. Okay. For them, again, my then they also politicians don't like a lot of things. What I say. Yeah. You know, because they say, you know. come home i will not come home they ask why because my place where i read horoscope has been consecrated it has an energy it's charged it is charged if there, there is a sadhana that i do every day there there is a mantra shastra that goes on there okay why should i come home? <laughs> if i go and do that mera vidya kaam nahi karega no say then they don't like some people do come okay but then you know each to his own of course as they say right yeah. but i really don't like getting into celebrity uh, astrology but uh, at least the karnataka kind of thing okay i predicted the first time donald trump will win <laughs> okay everyone all the astrologers said absolutely no Not. way the media was against all that that happened uh, then uh, everyone was saying bjp would you know, long time back bjp would win and aam aadmi party aam aadmi party came hmm. it's all there in public in domain delhi, in terms yeah. of in delhi in terms of uh, documentation uh, uh, yeah the twitter and social yeah. media facebook and things like that so you may not want uh, celebrities but you have a celebrity uh, i just was looking at your twitter handle and uh, narendra modi ji actually follows you so <laughs> yes <laughs> that was very interesting uh, how very, did that fan moment happen oh that was a <laughs> very uh, that was very no i felt very humble because i have no idea why the honorable prime minister narendra modi ji is following me on twitter i have no idea because i no i usually don't see the number of followers it keeps going up and down depending on what but then i was i was you know playing around with twitter and analytics and suddenly it came saying that 70 million per follower person is following i said what i said oh i called my wife i called my daughter and i hey, dekho ye de dekho <laughs> then i went and checked whether it's a No real account or not? Yes, that was that was an amazing uh, uh, fan moment. I can imagine. But then there are other people also who are following me, like uh, uh, all the BJP uh, people. Kaila Joshi is following me. Sai Deepak uh, is a good friend. I mean, good friend in the sense we have talked in on the phone okay. a couple of times. He follows me. Amazing. Right. Uh, who do you think is going to win the twenty twenty four elections? Yes. Not because of my my. Uh, 
partiality towards the the uh, political dispensation but there is one thing which stands out in modi's chart i know this because to certain extent this is a this is a yog no in planet combinations formation configurations is called a yog there is a yog by the way i also have it of course i'm not to that extent of narendra modi of course but then this is a very very strange yog to have and this means that the num if the number of people who abuse you become more and more and more you will you will grow exponentially more oh yes and he has that yog he has that that is why he is very calm you know i'm sure somebody would have advised him look at the amount of abuse that goes on in the in the media and the politicians and currently in this time yeah okay he never reacts aaj bhi bhasi nahi karta but then something is working you know the energy is which means so far so many people and he has grown only from strength to strength and strength mm-hmm. that that he has and do you think he is good for the country oh yes he is definitely good he has he has a focus okay he has a very long, you know he has a very telescopic vision he has a very telescopic vision whether it is there are so many decisions that he has taken which you know which kind of redefined hmm you know there is an identity now before 2014 i don't think there was an identity of myself yeah okay because now now when i go to the us people say ha ah, okay you are from india back then uh what yeah i'm also you didn't mean anything it didn't mean anything it didn't mean anything um some unique qualities that you've noticed in a patri very unique combinations every patri this is what i also say that every jataka hmm. jataka or horoscope is a blessed horoscope start with that so yeah because the blessing is there all i need to do is how to channelize that blessing agar wo mil gaya then you will never come back to me you know what you said is amazing because we only come to you like i said for problems but yeah. what we are not seeing is already grace hai wo hey, to kar lo that is the grace you already have that there so do you also highlight that sometimes i highlight only that <laughs> i highlight only that ha ah, trouble they'll say you know ye yahan pe you know kidney ka problem hai theek hai rahega doctor ke paas jao i'll give you some remedy for that but please understand what you currently have there is a difference You know, this is what i told one of my client that he had a massive headache kind of thing okay but that was more of stress kind of thing okay then i told him there is a difference when you go to a doctor when you go to a brain doctor a neurologist please understand and remember that there is a difference when the doctor says this is un- cannot be operated versus yes it can be operated then you will find out how much blessings you have yeah absolutely so true you see yeah but the whole issue is that if you keep on taking for granted wo bhi pattern horoscope pe dikh jayega true so what can i do now what can i do today to make sure that i carry as less baggage as possible or this karma that i have into my next life because there is i believe in afterlife uh, so what can i do from a from a horoscope or from a jyotish point of view so that i can hopefully carry more of the pluses then the debt into my next life one easy solution <clears throat> is 99.99% of our karma is verbal hmm agar aap mein vak shuddhi hai then you are already set and the highest the highest form of speech is mantra by the way but even if you don't have the mantra if you can speak clean if you can speak clean because this is the vishuddhi chakra it is the source of your speech hmm that is why it is called vak shuddhi the first thing because any student that enrolls in my course first gets a mantra of the katti family okay okay and that mantra actually starts working on the vishuddhi chakra not muladhara and all we don't care about all that okay 
बट अच्छा बोलो या मत ही बोलो दैट इज वाई दी मौन व्रता एंड ऑल दीज आर देर इन अवर संस्कार एज यू सी ओके सो द बेस्ट थिंग इज इफ यू डोंट लाइक एनी थिंग you don't have to be rude about it you see now you see what is the whole thing which is happening in especially social media or in everywhere nobody is saying anything satric very 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 true and satric no one is doing it respectfully no one is doing respectfully now that is what the rin badta hai because when you are already getting into this i can give you a rina rina mochana mantra it will not work oh because if you cannot alter your inner working how will the mantra make it no you also have to make an effort that is free will kind of thing yes you understand so stop the trolling if you want a better after life or next life that is why what i do is people do some, you know say some nonsense about me immediate block then people will say You know, we will say, "Oh, this fellow does not have the courage to, you know, why waste my time?" Yeah, yeah. And now it's a question of your afterlife. So why would you? Why would you want this Rina to, you know, impact I, you? Because this is, because my my Diksha Guru says that it is after so many lakhs and lakhs of janmas and janmas we have a manusya janma. Hmm. So you are actually blessed to be yes. born as a human. Yes. <clears throat> because you have a viveka shakti you have a buddhi you have a gnana you have a viveka discrimination which means you are a very blessed person because whichever avatara whichever avatara's lotus feet touch this earth came as a human yes It's... and by the way none of these avatara's touch their forehead to give instant enlightenment by the way i must say this also yes right none of the avatars which have walked their lotus feet on this bhumi never you know took took their hand and put here and instant nirvana no akshuddhi that is the first thing my grandfather taught my tauji taught yeah you are right because only as a human being you have the ability to evolve yes and so you are blessed to have this form yeah because you don't want to go back as an animal or things like that yeah After so many animal, animal births, you have now you have come there. Yeah, know? the sadhana can start because of the sadhana you come here. Why would you want to go back? But what is the connection between astrology and, or rather, Jyotish and spirituality? You spoke a little bit about it, but if you have more thoughts on it, I'd See, love to I know. I would say that Jyotish is a bridge or a roadmap to your spirit. Because spirituality is something which is very unique. Unique to whom? Unique to yourself. My spirituality and your spirituality can never be the same. No, let's let's try to understand this. Yeah, even like you said, right? Even if with my, I'm living with my parents. I'm even their experience of something is not the same as me in It's the not. same environment. Correct, because the karmas are different. The all of the Jyotish can offer you. What is the Devata? Who is responsible for your spiritual growth, spiritual progress in this life? Mm. that is what is called ishta devata and with that ishta devata a mantra is suggested then what happens is the, the sadhana again again you know it 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 can take multiple years or multiple lifetimes lifetimes exactly but then at least the beginning has it is the beginning has happened if that ishta devata that mantra you keep on internalizing it and what happens is as you go towards spirituality then jyotish becomes so easy <laughs> because you're intuitive yes, you're intuitive you really don't have to say seventh lord in the tenth mang manglik hu ye rahu dosh hai ye sarp dosh hai doesn't matter anymore because you already know the solution what to do yeah because that is that is what this spirituality is a bridge which you cross into very interesting yes. way of explaining this and one last question you spoke about purpose and i always tend to ask this question so what do you think is uh, your purpose and what's really next for you now you've already achieved so much you've shared so much knowledge and wisdom uh, very grateful to you for that but what's next for you what's next in the sense the purpose yes if i get more time to spend with my gurus hmm 
because baki is all manageable sap is manageable i have a pipeline of pro projects from sap that will that pipeline is for the next 3 years okay because of that i don't do jyotish so much because of the hectic uh, pressures because i do a lot of migrations i do a lot of security audits right and i work at different uh, time zones mm. right so in a month if i can do about two maybe four horoscopes right? that's something which you know it's not my bread and butter astrology jyotish is not my bread and butter of it's course. something from the i don't want to lose the uh, the parampara the tradition and that is why my little daughter also is learning now yes. and i have a bunch of all chota chota ladka uh, you know people kids saying, yeah kids my students kids okay they also want to learn somebody's niece is learning somebody son is want to learn that's incredible yeah because they will be much wiser adults oh, yes. than most of us walking around this yes. earth right now because very deep and all my students i must say this all my students are very very deeply rooted in their in their samskaras in their samskaras and they are very grounded hmm. you know every year i do a spiritual uh, jyotish uh, and spiritual retreat oh okay. 2022 it was in shringeri 2023 it was in mysore oh it is a morning to evening from morning let's say 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock i teach and in the evening we go around to the temples okay okay wonderful and if you actually look at the range of cars which we parked my students you will say there is something going on okay but very great grounded hmm it's not ankar hai nahi somebody is a head of uh, finance uh, is a senior partner in one of the finance uh, group one is a ceo ceo one is a cio okay one is a uh, one handles a 22000 crore company right i'm not only i should also be blessed to have good students yes of course yes it's like not just the guru is not just the shishya but the guru also has to be lucky yeah so humility is also very very important and my and gurus my gurus have been if you talk to my mantra diksha guru vardachar tantri the kind of spiritual spiritual authority he has again sadhana 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 okay he started at the young age he grew up in vidyapeet gurukula right so all the you any remedy he will say this is what has to be done that knowledge okay some of the gurus unfortunately i lost i lost my tauji mm uh, the age of 89 90 he passed away Ravi Shankar and the Nadi Nadi Jyotish Guru. Right, right. He passed away, but then they were nothing. I'm Do nothing. you can you communicate to them? Do you feel like you can communicate to them? They will communicate if they want to. Yeah. Why should I? <laughs> why should I make their life? You know, wherever they are, they are probably doing something nice. Why should I? Abhi bhi. No, why I ask is because that's another trend. No, these days, we will allow you to talk to your. uh lost that's not that easy that's what i'm saying that's no. what i <laughs> swapta shastra is something which happens yeah that is a dream but then it cannot happen unless and until you yourself are grounded yes so kati ji it was an absolute pleasure talking to yes, you yes sir shri rama absolutely thank you for having me no i really appreciate all the wisdom you've shared with us um more importantly just emphasizing also the relationship that we have with our earlier ancestors which yes. i think we tend to be, tend to forget rather yes um and also the deep rooted wisdom which is in our culture and heritage uh which again because sometimes it's not easily available we tend to ignore it very true and go to things that, that are simpler and easier yes. uh but more often than not those are the grosser things which are going to keep us away from our real truth so yes. thank you so much for sharing all this it's Namaste. been a pleasure having you absolutely thank you thank you <laughs>